Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to get the homebrew channel for system menus 4.3. Um, this only works on the Wii. This exploit does not work on the Wii U. There's another process for that. You can look that up if you want. Um, I'm following a guide. Um, it's going to be in the description. All the links you need are going to be in the description. What you need is an SD card that's 2GB. Um, anything above that may work, but a lot of the apps only work with things 2GB or less. 2GB is recommended because for mods and stuff, that's a perfect amount. Um... What you want to do is make sure that you are on 4.3, so you go to the settings, and I am on 4.3U, which is, you can see that in the top right corner. And then what you want to do is go, you need your MAC address for this exploit to work, and you go to the internet selections, um, I have a parental code, but it doesn't matter. You need the MAC address because your Wii only accepts messages from, that are specifically addressed to your MAC address. So then just, just take a picture or write it down. Um, you, if you, if your Wii is semi-bricked, you can still do this exploit. There is a program that I used in the past that you can get your Mac address from a save file, but I don't remember where it was. You can probably find it. Just search up, like, semi-bricked Mac address or something, and you'll probably find it. So what you want to do now is go to, um, the website. So we're here at this website, a link in the description. So then you want to make sure you have the right system menu selected on 4.3U. If you're using the Japanese Wii, that's probably what a 4.3J. And then what you do is enter your, in your MAC address. And make sure you have the bundle, the Hack Me installer, in, um, checked. And just enter the CAPTCHA. And it doesn't matter which wire you cut. Either one works. And then once you have that downloaded, we're going to work on the SD card. Okay, so after you plug in your SD card in your computer, you want to format it. Make sure it's FAT32. Um... The default allocation size should be fine, uh, it just depends on some programs, if you have a different, some programs will specify which ones they need, but this should be fine. You want to extract what you downloaded into the root of the SD card, so that's before any folders. So you just copy everything in and then just drag it in. After that's done, everything's in the root. You, um, there's some readmes, if you want to read it, just go ahead. And then after that, just go back to the Wii. Make sure you plug in your SD card before you boot it on, but it should be fine e either or, just to be safe. Now you should see a uh, message pop up. The instruction said it should be in yesterday's maybe, today's, depending on your time zone, because I guess it's addressed uh, today or something. And I don't know why it's not here. That's kind of weird. Okay, so the problem was that the date was set wrong because this is an older Wii, I guess. I haven't plugged it in for a while. So just make sure, make sure your date is set correctly. And this is the letter you get. And you're good to go. Um, so this screen takes a while for it to load, I guess they just want you to read the description. But eventually a press 1 continue is going to show up and you just click on that. Uh, I guess press 1 is a lot more relevant now than it was back then because of Twitch. So just wait for it out and then it should show up eventually. Okay, so we're here, and we got the homebrew channel can be installed, and the boot me can be installed. I guess it depends on your Wii, what you need, but the Wii U cannot install boot me, or else you're going to break your um, VWare. So what you do is install the homebrew channel. Um, that's our main goal here, but you could all you should also install boot me because it's great to prevent bricks, and if anything goes wrong with your Wii, then you have a backup. It basically loads before your system menu shows up, so therefore you can prevent any bricks from your system menu by still having control over it before everything loads up. Um, install it, go ahead and install it, and then I'll explain how to um, make a backup of your Wii once this is installed. Hmm. 
Okay, so it's done, so you want to click continue. So this is the homebrew channel, and um, right now there are no apps installed on your SD card probably. So you just pop the bubbles or something, and then you can shut down, and I'll show you what boot me looks like. So now whenever you turn on your Wii with your SD card plugged in, this is going to show up instead of the warning screen. And controls here are, you, if you have your GameCube, you can use your D-pad to select um, which option, which menu you want. Or you can use the power button as a next button and the eject button as a select. So what you want to do is go to the gears and then go, this is a symbol for backup to SD card. The one next to it is um, like restore from the SD card. And this, this is going to take a while because it's checking all the blocks. Um, it's okay if you have some bad blocks, you should be fine. It does a check over all of it to make sure everything's running properly. And uh, this takes a while, so if you want to, like, just, I don't know, go grab a snack or something, go do some homework. Yeah, after it's done, it, you should be good. You're good to go. Um, yeah, just shut off the Wii. You're good, you're good to go. You can install your apps, whatever you want. There's some um, backup loaders that you can use to uh, load games from your USB, but I'm not going to go over that because I don't want to get sued. The first thing you need to install is a custom iOS, which is, it's pretty simple, you'll see it in the tutorial, don't worry. If you have any questions, um, just let me know. I'll try and answer them as best as I can, I've been doing this for a while. And yeah, um, have fun.